We want to look at how to name methods correctly in Dart and Flutter, whose primary purpose is to return a value or whose primary purpose is to do some actions. Let's start with the method that returns a value. So here we have a list of books and we want to return one book with this method. And you might now think, okay, we can simply call it get and then book and then it returns our book. However, this assumption is wrong. You shouldn't use the verb get as a prefix for your method name. Instead, you should have a getter directly. And then you can also get rid of this get because we don't need to repeat that we get it since we already have it inside of our getter. And a getter always doesn't have any parentheses at the end. And we also need to make the first letter in lowercase. As you can see, the syntax of the getter is shorter than using a method. And here you wouldn't return a value because otherwise you could also directly put it into a variable. Instead, what a getter should do is to do some computation. So we take here the variable books and we go over all of these books and search for the flutter term and then we return this book. All right, so far we have learned it is wrong to use a get method to return a value. Instead, use a getter which is shorter and it also has the advantage that it sounds similar to our fields. So this is basically consistent with the field names. Since in the end, the user shouldn't care if we do some computation to get this value or if it is a field and there is the value stored inside. Next, let's look at the case where we need a parameter for doing this computation. And the disadvantage of getters are that they don't allow a parameter. So this syntax is not working. While for methods, this syntax is obviously working. Therefore, if you need parameters, then the only right solution is to go with a method. And inside of it, we can then do our computation based on this parameter. However, it is still important to be consistent with the naming of our methods and getters and fields. And therefore each of them should not use a verb in front such as get. Instead, it should be a noun phrase. So this is only a noun book. And this has now the advantage that we are consistent. So everywhere where the primary purpose is of returning a value, there we should have a noun phrase for methods, for getters and also for fields whenever the primary purpose is to return a value. So to sum it up again, if you need parameters for your getter, then use a method. And if you don't need any parameters, then you should use a getter instead. Next to using noun phrases for your methods and getters, such as in this case book, you could also of course use verb phrases, which means we can also put a verb in front of the method name. The only difference why you use a web phrase is because you want to focus on how this value is returned. So we say we are fetching this value. So in all cases, the primary purpose of this method is to return a value. The primary purpose of this method is to return a value and also of this getter is to return a value. Only here we focus on how it is returned. And usually if we focus on how this value is returned, then this means that it takes some longer time to return this value. So it has normally a return type of future. So with this fetch books, it should indicate that it takes some longer time until this value is fetched. And you can also have something like download books. Here we also indicate with this verb phrase that it takes some longer time to basically fetch this value. With this new knowledge in mind, you shouldn't use any verb phrases in case the return type of your method is not of type future. Because if it is not of type future, then you can also use simply a getter in case you don't need any parameters, then a getter would be totally sufficient and we don't need to focus on how this value is returned since it is pretty fast to return this value. And in case you need any parameters like we have learned before, then you use a method. But in both cases, you use then a noun phrase if you focus on what is returned and use a verb phrase in case you focus on how it is returned and that you focus on how long it takes basically to get this value.